Hello and welcome to my Link to the Past ROM hacking tutorial. This is the second part where I'll be touching on the basics of graphics editing in Link to the Past. So how we're going to do this is using a very old method but a very solid one. Uh, a combination of the program ZCompress and the program YYCHR. So I'll provide links to these in the description. And what we're going to use these to do is basically just um, open up link to the past graphics, be able to see them all, and we're going to insert our own bush and our own tree. And that'll be all we do. It's going to be pre made, uh, like it's already set up so it'll work with link to the past. And um, in the next part, what I'll do is I'll establish more on paletting, so setting your own colors if you're making your own custom graphics, construction of your graphics that you're trying to make rather than just converting it into something that already works, and um, understanding how a 4 bit 16 color image works. So, what you'll need is Z Compress, provide links to these in the description, and YYCHR. In order to use Z Compress, you're going to need to have your command prompt. So, I just slide one of these bitches inside of the YouTube tutorial. Um, folder I've made and what you do is with Z compress in there and your link to the past .smc rom you'll type in Z compress dot e you see I guess that works yeah, yeah zero link to the past dot smc that's your rom and link to the past dot bin that's the bin file you're gonna make and it could be anything you want to call it so once it's decompress that it'll be finished done you'll open up yychr then you'll go to your bin file, open that up, and what you'll see first is a bunch of messed up graphics. Now what you're going to do with that is go to graphic format right here, change that to SNES slash PCEG or CG, and it'll show you the graphics in their correct format. Now to be able to edit them, you have your viewfinder on the left, um, that'll show you things on the right, and you can change the zoom of that right here so you have different sizes to select from. And then over here you can do anything from just draw on it to make big boxes and all that good stuff. Below it shows your palette and I'll get more into the, the, the palette within here so you can see your graphics in their, their native colors. Um, so what we'll do um, is I'll show you general layout. So first we have the dungeon graphics, those litter throughout and there's things like the title screen, those are kind of scattered. Then you'll have overworld graphics next, like your tree, your bush, this is where we're going to be editing today. And below this big black line is the sprites, the interactable objects of the game. Um, and at the very bottom, there's Link's graphics himself. And right here, you have this distorted data, as well as up, 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 up here. What this is, is if you convert it to two bit gigab or Game Boy, not Gigabyte, um, you have your 8 bit graphics, which are what go into Link's menu screen. And you can edit the menu, the, the item screen. But we're going to be editing in 16 bit today. So up here is the tree graphics for the light world. I'm going to put them in these colors so that's what they natively come in. And then I have a Gates of Darkness bin open. So this is another Link to the Past ROM hack that has edited graphics. And all I'm going to be doing is showing you how to throw them into your own bin. And with this video, I will uh, provide a link with a small bin that will give you these example graphics to load in yourself. So in this bin, in the exact same spot, is it the tree graphics. This one's more of like a pine tree look. So you'll take these and you'll paste them over the old tree graphics. That's all you really need to do. That's all it comes down to. The palette, the color palette is not exactly the same, and I'll touch on that in the next video. But for right now, we're just gonna save that. I'll go to your command prompt and type in Z compress one eight seven two zero zero. That's the address it's gonna be writing to, and the same information we inputted before, and it'll insert the graphics, the new bin file, into your ROM. So now when you reload your ROM. magic watch this you got new trees and like I said the palette's not gonna be right here we'll touch on that next time but for right now you have new trees in your game and they, they look different and we'll be able to make them look even cooler when they have the proper coloring but first these bushes are disgusting I don't like link to the past bushes I mean I like the game style but when I first got into hacking I said I'm changing these hoes really quick so how we're gonna do that 
is we're going to do the same thing. We got our Link to the Past here and our Gates of Darkness here. The Gates of Darkness has some cooler bushes, so here they are right here. Scroll down here, here's the bushes. So we're going to copy, boop, copy, boop. And you know what? They got cooler signs too, so we might as well just take that. Why not? And so, as you see there, the green is not behind it. No, I'll put it behind it. So anyway, we've inserted those graphics in. Control S, save, just hit up, enter. You've re-entered the graphics. It's really just that simple. Using the speed up button right there. And so now, the bushes are in the game. Now when you lift them up, they're still the old bushes. And the reason that is is because interactable objects are on different graphic schemes than other ones. And this can allow you to be really creative in a lot of cases. But right now, this is just pretty pretty one way to do it, you know. So what you'll do is you'll go down here where your sprites and interactable objects were. Remember how I said that earlier? And you'll see this bush right here with a black background. That's the one that Link's holding above his head because it has the transparency uh, for it to be able to you know, appear like it's above his head and it's not just a, a graphic sprite hold above him. So you'll put that in. Control S, decompress, done, load the game. Step outside, and just like that, the graphics have been changed, and this will be the same no matter where you are in Link to the Past. I also converted my Link um, to a different one. I will touch on how to do that later on but that's basically it I have for this one uh, the reason I'm leaving the palettes construction and all that in another video is just because it's such a long-winded topic that will require a bit of uh, you know, a bit of technical explanation that would just make this video far too long so if you enjoyed this video um, be sure to give me a, a subscribe you know like it do whatever you need to do with it and I hope it helps you out with your link to the past adventure you're trying to create